Hello Virgo, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we're here for a love reading. I am broadcasting from Chicago and because I traveled internationally as a career flight attendant, I would love to know where you're watching the video from and so I can wave hi to you in all those wonderful countries I truly miss traveling to. So let's see what we have Virgo. What is going on for, for Virgo in love? Okay, so we have... The energy here that we see and your energy coming into the reading is the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords as well as the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this deck has a feminine version of the King of Pentacles and a masculine version of the King of Pentacles. But what the King of Pentacles means is that you are serious. You have no interest at all in, you know, getting having a relationship that doesn't have some value to it um, at a very in a very practical way. Uh, King of Pentacles energy is Taurus energy. You want somebody who's reliable, sweet, kind, loving, somebody who values the same things that you value. Taurus energy is a second house. You really respect people who, you know, earn a living and are very mindful of what they do. You're very traditional. You know, it's the energy also. Taurus energy is the energy of even the Hierophant, which is a very traditional way. So when you you come into the reading though we do see also the ten of swords here you feel as though you have been defeated by the pain of a relationship that we're looking at at the bottom of the deck you have the world card and the world card often means a different country a different culture a different ethnicity in terms of a love relationship you might be intrigued by somebody who's very different from yourself it is Aquarius and Saturn energy though so it is it's an energy of success so when you look at a relationship you want to be with someone who's successful like you are okay so the energy of the other person at this time is a two of Pentacles maybe they're juggling you Two of coins is Capricorn energy. This person could also work two jobs. They could be struggling with money. They could be trying to make a decision about what they want to do in their life and how it may impact your relationship. We have the energy of the Page of Wands, playful energy, you know, somebody who likes to be uh, very sort of, sort of look into your heart, you know, they're funny, they're different. Page of Wands is throwing caution to the wind, so your person is in a very different energy than you are, but let's see what the third card is. Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles energy is Taurus energy. Again, lots of Taurus energy here, Virgo. So it does look like your person is invested in you. It looks as though you may be more invested in them. The Ten of Swords means that you feel somehow that this person has let you down, that this person has said something. It's Gemini energy. It's usually communication. Um, you may feel that there's something about the relationship that cannot allow it to work out the way that you'd like for it to. So let's clarify these cards and then we're going to look at the outcome short term. We're going to also look at your destiny cards and we're going to look into and clarify tricky or difficult energies here specifically. Okay, so the world card. Why is the world card your overall energy, Virgo, in this reading with your person? I do read it as a love reading, but it could be any relationship. The Emperor, Empress card, sorry. So you want the total fulfillment. This person, as far as you both see each other, <laughs> Taurus energy again. So when we look at the Empress card and the World card, what we see, Virgo, is for your energy, you want something of tremendous value. You want the manifestation of pure love, beauty, money, luxury. You want everything. All You want to live the good life. We also see the high priestess. You're keeping a lot to yourself. So is your person. It looks as though the two of you are not communicating. I do think that you're from different backgrounds, different countries, different ethnicities for some of you. However, I also get the uh, knight of swords so even though you're not speaking the two of you have a lot to say to each other the father of cups says that there is a lot of love in the relationship that scorpio energy again secretive energy this could even be a relationship with the high priestess the scorpio uh king we see with the ten of swords there may be an energy that this relationship doesn't there's something missing that cannot allow it to move forward and that might be more on your part Virgo than your person's part 
So let's see why we have the King of Pentacles, the masculine King of Pentacles. Judgment card, okay. So you're going to make a judgment that really allows you to be wealthy and abundant, and you're going to stay very fixed and focused on keeping your wealth, keeping your life stable, keeping it happy. We get the Mother of Pentacles. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles energy, Capricorn Queen. So for those of you who are married, we see, we do see two feminine energies here. Um, but we do see the desire that you have to be married to, you know, your your direct opposite, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So we see that you want somebody who's very serious, who takes life seriously, who's going to be a good mother, who's going to be very nurturing. Let's see why we have the Queen of Pentacles here. I mean, the King of Pentacles, men, feminine energy. I'm having a bit of a hard time speaking today. <laughs> we have a Mercury retrograde coming. The Chariot card. So you really want to move very forward. You want to move forward very rapidly in this relationship. You want, that's the emperor who drives the chariot. It's honey, I'm home. And you are willing to release any situation that doesn't meet the criteria of what you want. So the chariot card, why is the chariot card here? Why does this person want to come home to you? Or you want to come home to them is the energy I'm actually getting. Six of cups, you want a reunion with someone. Someone from the past could be somebody even from, you know, long, long ago. It could be somebody that you're currently seeing that you feel as though, I really feel the current energy here is that you're feeling as though your love relationship is going to end and that, you know, you don't want it to. Why do we have the Ten of Swords, the Sun card? You feel really defeated. There's something about the relationship connection you have with this person that makes it the happiest one that you've ever had. And yet the Ten of Swords is a stab in the back. And that's your energy that you're bringing. So that that's your energy. So you may be... You may feel as though you can't have this person because you have other obligations. Judgment can be judgment of divorce unless you make a big change. It doesn't look like you want to make a change because you want stability. And that's only going to be for a few people. So I'm going to read it that way first. But then I really, you know, there's different ways to read cards. So there's always several stories in a card reading, typically. What I'm seeing here is that you would love to get a divorce or you would love to set yourself free to be with your person because you see them as a mother of pentacles. You see them as nurturing. You desire them. Look at that six of cups chariot card. This is the happiest you've ever been in a relationship. But it looks as though ten of swords, you feel like the circumstances do not allow you to have it. Tell us more why the ten of swords is here. Five of swords, there may be some dishonesty. Maybe you haven't told your person. Maybe they know, maybe they don't know, but the Five of Swords says that you want to win or keep this person in your life almost at any cost, even if you have to be unfair to do it. The Three of Wands, you see this person as your future. The Ten of Wands, though, says that you feel very guilty about this. So this is a tough reading, I'll tell you that, Virgo. All right, let's see what your person's doing. This usually readings come together sometimes at the very end when we haven't yet looked at the dynamic of the outcome. So Daughter of Wands means that your person's very playful, very lighthearted. Uh, I do see them as a person who, I you view them as a, you know, a Queen of Pentacles energy, as a King of Pentacles energy, as somebody who's very grounded and stable. But here we get the other, the other woman card. The Mother of Wands is usually, or the Queen of Wands is Aries energy. It's usually based on passion, happiness, sensual delight, may or may not last forever. We also have the Star card. So this person embodies everything that you want. They just do. Your person doesn't, they, the two of coins also means that you could be juggling them and that they're quite aware of it. And therefore, they don't take the relationship as seriously as you do. Uh, they don't think in the same way as you do. They do see you as a rock star in love. They do see as, you as wish fulfillment. They do love the passion that the two of you share. Why is Why does your person seem to be turning their back on the fact that they might be juggled? 
Strength card, okay? Makes perfect sense. Leo energy, the infinity symbol, courage and strength. Your person really sees you as the happiest person that they've ever been with. They see you as that rock star in love, hopes and dreams for love coming true. The courage, the tenacity, the you've known each other, I think, with the infinity symbol through probably every incarnation that you've had. I happen to leave, believe in reincarnation. Uh, so I really see that your person just knows that you're the one and that they want you and they're just going to stay in it. I just don't see this person willing to move away from you. The Page of Wands is throwing caution to the winds. The Hanged Man says, though, that they wonder if that's wise. The Hanged Man is seeking enlightenment, seeking things, seeking knowledge, and answers from a different perspective, not making a decision. The Emperor card. So we see the Emperor and the Empress. Your person feels as though you are a divine couple. Neither of you really speak about this with that high priestess as your mutual energy. So the emperor card really is a very powerful energy about how your person, you know, wants to be here. They're not going anywhere. Lover's card, okay. Making a choice, Gemini energy, soulmate card. You know, I always view the strength card as soulmate because of the infinity symbol. You have, you know, a lion protecting a woman. They're faithful to each other. They walk through life together. They're very different. Like the world card, very, very different. And yet that the love endures and grows stronger by the day. Leo energy. All right. So your person really sees you as the one. They're not going anywhere. They're invested. Seven of coins says that that seven of pentacles. It's like being a good gardener. This relationship has probably been going on for a while. They're invested. What else do we need to know? They seem to spend a lot of time alone. They may have Virgo in their chart, Virgo. They seem to spend, when you are alone together, it looks like it's very, very pleasant, very nice. They do miss you though, they feel alone, they feel as though you don't communicate enough. They feel as though this can't possibly last. They oftentimes feel left in the cold by a Virgo. They really don't think that you give them um, they don't think that you give them enough, is what I'm seeing. They feel very left in the cold. The Son of Wands, they feel that you're coming in with a lot of player energy. They feel that you're in and out. You know, that's the that's the Knight of Wands energy that makes them sad. They do love you, Five of Wands. They don't like being part of a competition, I'll tell you that. So your person loves you. I don't see them going anywhere, but there's a, a level of sadness here for them. Um, so let's take a look and see what your outcome is for the reading. And we're also going to look at, again, we're going to clarify some of the difficult energies with a psychological overview here. Okay, so let's see here. What's the outcome of this reading at this time? Short-term outcome for us, please. The Hanged Man, nothing changes. Pisces energy, just remaining very spiritual. So basically, this sort of all hangs in your attachment to this person is based on them deciding to just stay in it and to allow themselves to be juggled. So they're sort of in charge here because your outcome is based on them. The Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords says that you may have even told this person that you'll never be with them, and yet they're the person that makes you happy. You know it's unfair, but that's a decision that you're making. High Priestess energy means that you will continue to go silent. Both of you are in a silent mood here. You're both here. You're not really talking about what's going on. Six of Swords, the two of you are trying to move forward in your lives, in the relationship. I just really get that there's... Um, there's a desire to heal. There's a desire to have happiness in this relationship. Let's look and see what the mundane energy is here. Why is the, why do we have the hanged man? Pisces energy, really not knowing what to do, so doing nothing. Eight of swords, self-imposed restriction. So it's a bit painful. You know, both of you are feeling stuck in the relationship because you really love each other. You really want each other. You don't see sort of a way out, but it is self-imposed. It's not something that you can't do. Oh, look at this. Both of you are talking. Oh, both of you are not talking about a new beginning. 
So why the new beginning? What's that, what does that mean for Virgo Justice card? Wow, judgment and justice. That combination in a reading indicates that truth be told that your person and you think it's possible that there could be paperwork filed for a divorce or separation. Sometimes the justice card in a relationship just means that you live together and you have a legal contract because you rent a house together, you you know, you share a business together, something like that. But in most instances, when I get justice and judgment, I'm getting energy that says somebody's going to file paperwork. Nobody's talking about it. There is a chance. So it's interesting. Six of Swords is also a card of moving forward. So very interesting that both of you are in very diverse energy and ways of thinking. And yet the outcome says that it's possible to invest more. Seven of Coins. Both of you in the energy of trying to make or trying to have this grow. The Tower card says that something will happen that will be shocking. Something will abruptly change. And the Wheel of Fortune falls in your favor. Oh, interesting energy. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, Heart of the Fairy Oracle tells me sort of the, the dark and light side, the good, the bad, the magical, the mystical, or the mayhem. Uh, that comes to the play in some of the more difficult, challenging aspects of any given reading. So we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Tell us why your person, what does that mean in terms of a more, a deeper look at that? Your per, okay, this is profound. Oh my gosh. This is profound, Virgo. So you really feel defeated. You feel sad. You feel guilty. You feel as though this person is so unique and so different that if you stay in your situation, the status quo, unless you release some expectations or plans that you originally had for your life, you're going to lose this person. The Ten of Swords says that they will go elsewhere. They're really fine. You view them as an incredibly powerful energy that many people would find desirable and so it's the fear of abandonment the fear that you've created too much burden that they feel stabbed in the back and that they're unique and powerful enough to make another choice for themselves and if they do you'll be left in the cold okay so what do we have here for the hanged man what do we have here for the hanged man we're going to look at both hanged men energies uh okay so your person's just taking they're just waiting to see what happens. They're listening very closely. You know, it's like when you say, shh, I think I hear hooves in the far off. I feel like I hear horses running in the distance. So the Hermit card and the Five of Pentacles, it looks like you don't keep consistent contact with them. It looks as though, Virgo, you're not very good at contact, and they think that that's really asinine. I'm going to say it, the big behind. They just think that that's, that's a real challenge to this relationship because that makes them lose respect for you, and respect is one of the key components of having a successful relationship. Why do they see you as player energy here with the Knight of Wands? They're the Queen of Bows, so they feel as though you should recognize their power everything, their dignity. They have Empress energy. So your person has Empress energy and they just feel as though, you know, you're by not acknowledging it, by not making a commitment, by putting them then in this energy that, you know, you, you just don't see their value. The Smith, they think you work too much. They think that that is getting in the way of the relationship. I don't think they resent you, though, because this person's very strong. I think they work a lot also. Why is self-imposed restriction here? It fell right out of my hand. We see the paradox. The two of you are in a paradox. You both love each other. You want each other. But you're going to really need some spiritual help. We see the star fairy. Your person's very spiritual. Uh, the messenger, we look at this messenger. Some news is going to come in here. 
and it's going to surprise both of you. The messenger is stepping on the head of this shocked little uh, fairy underneath. So there is something that's going to happen that's going to heal and show some promise of the two of you being together in this relationship. Something you don't expect. We see it with the messenger, the surprise that this fairy f is feeling, and the tower card. So why do we have... Why do we have the Five of Wands? Why does your person feel like they are competing with so many priorities in your life? The gift. They feel as though you're gifted and everybody, you're in demand and that, you know, at the end of the day, that being with you is being with the gift that you possess, the talents. I feel it's very work-related. You know, the Hermit card, Virgo energy is oftentimes workaholic energy. All right, so, okay, that's not even bad. Five of Wands means that they know you're in demand. They understand it. They accept it, actually. They see that as, as being your, you know, your wonderful gifts. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords here. What's that about? The Fairy of Growth. Ah, the Fairy of Growth. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. The Seven of Coins being more invested as an outcome. And why is the Tower card here? Why does it come as a shock? The speaker of the truth. Okay. Tell us about the speaker of the truth. So it looks as though if the truth be told, the two of you are going to be together. It also could be the news that one of you is making a big change. I would say the way this is playing out with the justice and judgment card that Virgo, if you and energies can be vice versa, somebody may speak the truth about changing, bringing down the tower on a current relationship or obligations of some sort for this relationship to grow. Wow. Okay. Let's look at your destiny cards. We're going to look at your destiny card first. Then we're going to look at your person's destiny card. So short term for you this week at the period of time that it ends, you're feeling very much passion, pleasure, savoring your life. Nice. Okay. What is your person feeling? What is your person taking away from this particular period of time in their life as a destiny card? Navigating by the stars. <laughs> They're following their intuition. Follow your bliss. They're staying in it. They'll stay here until they feel uh, like they've received a message to leave. And I don't see that happening at the time. All right, Virgo, it's been a joy. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.